In 1913, 439 miners lost their lives in Britain's worst pit disaster. Last year, again in Wales, 31 miners were killed. But never did the Welsh miners imagine that the dangers they face would engulf their children. Some 200 lives have been lost at Aberfan. But though the agonies of bereavement will linger, grief isn't the only emotion. There's anger and distrust. Anger that such a dangerous site was ever chosen for a coal tip poised directly above the village. Anger that officials took no heed of repeated warnings and distrust in the whole machinery of supervision which is their only protection. Sandbags are filled with the black mud of the fallen tip. The water pouring from its centre is diverted away towards the taff. The anxiety of the people of Aberfan is shared by all the other mining communities living in the shadow of other tips. Already three more have been declared hazardous at Kilvanis, Mardi and Pendrukaiba. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, the waste coal dust has been tipped as close as possible to the pits around which the miners live. It's cheaper that way. But even in these days of social enlightenment, the tips have been allowed to grow as close to the houses as ever. Working in black dungeons, miners seem to find more joy in daylight than others do. The comradeship of the mine gives them a special sort of humanity, a powerful thirst for life. Despite their bleak appearance, the villages are vital communities with their chapels, choirs and silver bands. The fabric of miners' lives has always had a black thread of death. Surely it's only just that they who face danger underground should have peace of mind for their homes above. public inquiry must discover the facts. The coal board and the government must erase this terrible hazard from the mining villages of Britain. It's up to us to ensure that it is done in the name of those 200 victims of Aberfan. <laughs>